All right, today I'm going to be doing a comparison with these two pins, as uh, you very well know of them. We have the Mahjong M800. It may go by the name uh, under the label Moon Man. It does come with the optional Moon Man nib. We'll get into that. But Mahjong is uh, what I'm going with. And then you have the Asvine P20, and I just did a review on this pen. The reason why I wanted to do a review on these pens is because of their similarities, and if you are thinking about which one to buy, I want to go through some of the differences so to make you to give you a more informed buying decision. To begin with, the P20 retails for $28. Now these prices are approximate, as you know they change. The M800 retails for about $46 with a Bach nib and about $32 with a Moon Man nib. The filling systems are very different. The M800 is a cartridge converter it comes with a converter. They're standard international cartridges and converters. And the P20 is a piston filler. And you can see the ink window right there. The materials on both these pens are both turned acrylic and they look very nice. The metal parts are most likely brass and gold plated. You can see on the bands that the Moon Man or the Mahjong has these just thin uh, stripes or thin bands, I should say, whereas the Asvine has this nice big hefty band. The bands at the on the body finial are about the same. The Asvine just a little thicker, and then up top course the same thing for the cap finial bands they're a little bit thicker on the asvine again the body styles are very similar uh, they uh, mimic the leonardo momento zero the clips are very similar uh, as far as their shape there's a little detail difference you can see a little more ridge that little center ridge on the Asvine. And then the M800 Mahjong is just, uh, you know, just basic round. And then they both have the wheel. Now, the way the wheel is mounted there, I'll try to zoom in on that, is just a little bit different. I don't know if either one is better than the other, but they are functional wheels. The clips, the tension on the clips is right about the same as well. They are uh, both uh, very firm and uh, but very usable. The color is available and I will uh, put these on the video. The color is available for the P20. There are seven of them and then for the M800 there are only four, but enough to where you have some uh, choice there. The caps both mount. They're both a threaded mount. Differences there is that it takes two and a quarter turns to remove the cap from the P20 and about one and a half turns to remove it from the cap from the M800. Are they postable? Yes, both of them post securely and they feel about the same as you post them. The P20, however, because of the piston mechanism is a little more back weighted. The length on both these pens is similar all their, uh, the dimensions on the pins, you're going to find that the M800 is just a little bit less. The, again, they both have that pointed 
cap finial and pointed body finial. But the, uh, the length of, of the P20 is 129 millimeters to 127 millimeters. And the girth on the bodies of the pin are both, uh, they start out at 14 millimeters. Uh, length capped, they're 146 millimeters. And I should say, uh, let's go ahead and take this off, take the caps off here. And uh, you can you can see the the differences in the links. I'll get those out of the way. In the links here, if you get the grip section together, see down there at the body finials, there's that little bit of length. But they're they're plenty long enough to you know both you can use both uncapped easily. And as you look at these. As well, you can tell the grip sections are very similar in their shape. The uh, both of them have now the M800 has this this thin gold band right there, whereas the P20 does not have any uh, gold bands on anywhere on the grip section there. But they are about the same shape. Neither one of them with the threads is uncomfortable, both very comfortable to use uh, threaded. So the size of their, the grip sections are both uh, about 10 millimeters down here at the thinnest portion, and then they come up to about 12 millimeters right in there. So a nice, I, I think it's a nice size for the grip sections. The weight is going to be different on these pins as well. Again, due to the piston filling mechanism, the body on the P20 is 18 and a half grams compared to 16 grams on the M800. Overall, 27.5 for the P20 and 23 for the M800. So pretty close. And uh, again, both of them have enough weight to where if you like some weight in your hand, but you don't like a lot of weight, these both of them do a good job. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do a writing sample and then I will return for some closing thoughts on these pens. All right, so let's take a look at the P20 first. So you have the Asvine P20. 20 and this is a medium and diamine ace of blue no hard starts no skips these as fine nibs are terrific it is a nice wet nib if you like those uh, let's see, again, nice and smooth, all directions, reverse writing. Very nice on the Asvine. This P20, both uh, normal orientation of the nib as well as the uh, reverse orientation is great. It was a little wet, as you can see, as I start out there, but very, very nice. Um, let's see, line variation. It's a, this is a pretty wet nib, so you can't really get a whole lot of line variations. It's going to be uh, a nice medium either way. Okay, so let's go with the other pin. Now I have to dip the M800 because I had a different color in it before this is the Mojan M800 and it has a Bach fine nib as you can tell again diamine He's uh, blue. 
So they just inked it up. But I didn't, when I used this pen uh, more, it didn't have any hard starts or skips. Reasonably wet. Smooth rider all directions. Reverse writing. A lot of feedback there. I'm trying to spin it a little bit to see if that makes any difference. Remember this is a fine. It does keep up, so it will do a pretty decent reverse writing. I just wouldn't want to go a long time with uh, trying to write it in reverse. So to give you an extra fine there, you can get some little bit of line variation. Now, I did compare this with a Yovo nib. I took the Bach nib out and I have some spare Yovo nibs. And it does, you can swap them out. So I, I will probably swap this out with a medium uh, Yovo nib. But um, yeah, otherwise, you know, the pen, the pen writes very well. So there, there you go. And of course, it's a little bit lighter on the uh, M800 because of the fine nib. But it does write well. Uh, you can't go wrong with either one of these pens. So... All right, I shall be back with some closing thoughts on these two pens. All right, when comparing these two pens, and if you could only buy one, I'm just gonna point out some, some areas that I've already pointed out, but just to emphasize some, some points, uh, both pens look great. Their, their design is very nice. They are distinct enough to tell them apart, both with the, the way the ball or the wheel is uh, mounted and the shape of the wheel as far as the bands, uh, the center bands and so forth. Uh, and they both come in uh, nice colors. The nibs write very well and you have a choice of Bach or Moon Man for the M800 if uh, you like that preference. The only problem is you only have one tip size and that is fine. The P20, uh, you only have the Asvine nib, that's not unusual, but you have three choices of the three most popular nib sizes, extra fine, fine, and medium. The color choices on the P20 are greater. You have seven compared to the four on the M800, but again, even with four choices, you, you have enough variety there that it isn't a big difference. Size and weight are close enough that you really aren't gonna tell that much difference, and the feel in the hand of both of these pins is very nice. Now again, posted, the P20 is a little more back-weighted, so the M8, because of its piston filling uh, system, uh, the M800 is a little bit, it feels a little more normal in the, in the hand. The capping and uncapping, uh, that's another point. As far as fewer turns, the M800 has almost half the amount of turns, one and a half turns to uncap compared to two and a quarter turns, so I like that about the M800. Although when I'm writing for my uh, style, I usually uncap and put my cap in a pen stand and just you know use the cap as a pen stand from there. So I'm not capping and uncapping all the time. But if you do, uh, you're gonna have to be using more turns with the P20. The problem with the M800, and maybe I just got a fluke, I don't know, but it's too easy to cross thread when you are trying to cap this pin. I mean, if you don't come in, if you don't match up just right, it's easy to, there I matched it up right. But if you come in at just a little bit of an angle sometimes, um, I see I'm getting some good ones there, but right here, you know, it caught me. And uh, I don't, I don't find that at all. Hadn't had any problems with the P20, so that's kind of a uh, the downside 
uh, to the M800. So it's kind of frustratingly there. Now, surprisingly, and this may be a getter too, is the cost of these pins. Again, the P20, what I paid was $28. And the M800 with just the Moonman nib is $32. So even with the, the Moonman nib, it's still more expensive than the P20. So all points considered, I really think the P20 is going to be your it, to do it over again if i was able to look at this pin comparison i would have gone with the p20 you have a greater filling capacity now again cleaning you know the piston area that's okay so there's downside there but i don't have a problem with that and um so you get greater capacity there they're they're both you know, nice, nice acrylics, but you can get the P20 in this same amber type of color. I don't know. All things considered, I would go with the P20 over the Mahjong uh, just for those reasons. And I like Mahjong pins. And a, again, maybe that capping, because that's, that's the big thing there for me too, uh, those cross threads. Uh, maybe that's just a fluke uh, with the one that I got, but... Uh, that's the way it is, and so that's the way I have to review it. And still at more of a at a, at a higher cost. I mean, you're you're talking maybe four dollars more than the the P20 with the Moonman nib. Uh, I don't know. I, I think for me, I would just go with the the P20. All right. So here's a couple of the videos on the full reviews of these pins, and you have a great day.